The musical community has been helping those living with Alzheimer's and dementia and their caregivers connect through music. The Twin Cities based Giving Voice Chorus is a place where people with dementia are recognized for what they can do, including learning new music, making new memories and remembering some old tunes. Our Derek James takes us inside rehearsal with a mother daughter duo, keeping their connection and memories alive. The heart of music, a shared experience. Emily Pearl and her mother Kay have been part of the Giving Voice course in St. Paul since 2018. Were you excited to sing in a choir? Yeah. Yeah. The vocalists making the three and four part harmonies sing in this rehearsal are living with dementia. We have people who have the diagnosis. Um, your sisters, right? Yeah. And instrumental music experience. And my mom played um, piano and was also um, first chair clarinet. As a child, she didn't need to read the notes in order to play, a skill that came in handy when forgetting her piano sheet music before a performance at the McPhail Center for Music. So she was like eight or nine years old, and her mom said, "We're not, we're not going back, right?" And so she had to play the entire. Um, concert from memory. Recently, Kay's ability to vocalize has become more limited because of aphasia, but it's clear by her gestures that although many of her memories are forgotten, these music memories are not lost, nor is her passion for the craft. She might not be performing by opening her mouth and singing, but I'm looking in her eyes and she is going through all the words in her head moving her head to the beat and when there's a cutoff she makes a cutoff with her head so she's actually living the music and if i sing the wrong thing she will elbow me <laughs> to let me know that i am singing. together when these 40 to 50 giving voice singers meet weekly for 90 minutes they are in tune musically and emotionally there's definitely a lot of love in the room. When you're um, experiencing something musically, it also harnesses the feelings of joy and happiness. That's what I think you see when people are moved and stand up or clap or those smiles. It's because that music memory really brings those emotions out. It gives us an opportunity to reframe who we are together. And so without this, there would be a lot of sadness. Creativity is the last thing in us to die. So giving anyone a key to their creativity in their later years is just so powerful. After launching in 2014, Giving Voice now has five choirs in the Twin Cities Metro. The nonprofit is leading a movement to inspire more choirs like it around the country and internationally. A movement that Emily says is about creating moments through the intrinsic power of music. And there are moments in those songs where she might not have said a word to me that day and she turns to look at me and she says, I love you so much. And so those moments, like I know we're making a difference and I know we're creating memories. In St. Paul, Derek James, WCCO News. That is so sweet. And that video of them swaying together yes. to the music, like such a cool moment that they're having together as a mother and daughter. Mother and daughter. Doing and this. So many other family members genuinely having a great time. Yeah. Well, the Giving Voice Chorus of St. Paul is performing their end of semester concert. It's a celebration of women in music. It's this Sunday at the Minnesota JCC Cap Center in St. Paul.